Hi, I'm Rebecca from ConquerBooks.com, and I recently read The Glass Magician by Carolyn Stevermer. I was fortunate to receive an arc of The Glass Magician, however, that will not impact my views. So I hadn't heard of Carolyn Stevermer before, but she's been on the scene for a while. She's written several fantasy novels and she's won some awards. She's from Minnesota. I'm from the Midwest too. And I was interested to read the novel because I love reading about magic. And this had a couple of intriguing new ways of thinking about magic. Magic on the stage, kind of the fake magic that humans do, and magical magical that just makes things amazing things happen. It combines the two of them and that's what really drew me in. So Talia is a magician. She inherited the post from her father who was a stage magician as well and her stage manager and associate Nuttall is more advanced in his years and so he's the one kind of showing her the ropes about magician society engaging um, theaters for them and helping design new tricks. They work together and they travel together. And Talia has been working as the lady of the lake for several years now. And so she knows what to do on stage. But one show is a little bit different than all the others because she gets caught right as a sword is about to cut down right upon her head. She gets caught in the handcuffs. This hasn't happened before and she is not willing to break the trick and let the audience know that she has no idea how she's gonna get out of this. And um, so she stays in the trick, hoping to figure something out, and the knife is coming down, and suddenly she does something she's never done before. Her hand shifts, and she's able to get out of the, the handcuffs. And she is trying to figure out what exactly went on. How was she able to do magic, real magic, when she's just a simple magician. And so Talia and Natal go upon this adventure trying to figure out what exactly is happening to her. The Glass Magician is set in New York City in 1905. So you have this great period piece that has these fantastical elements. Um, as a reader, it was a little bit hard getting into what those elements were because very quickly you come to understand that there's these different classes that you have to read up on it and get a, a handle on. Um, there is what Talia is, a solitaire, which is just an ordinary person. There's a trader, which is somebody who's able to trade bodies, a human, into an animal, though they don't describe it that way. They describe it as they're just both. And then there's the Silvestri, which is more of a, a nature-focused class of person. And Talia is learning more about these, and I felt like the world building at the the beginning could have been a little bit clearer. This is something that was a new thing for me as a reader to jump into these different classes and trying to figure out the rules of each, how they interact in w to society, and why Talia wasn't necessarily well versed in them already, it being a part of her society, took me a little while to catch up on. What I did really like was the character building. I thought Talia was a really engaging character. I thought that she had a great relationship with her mentor, Natal. And there's this devious person who comes on this, the scene named Van Faber. Von Faber, actually. Very devious. And Von Faber is standing in the way of Talia's stage magician career. And she needs to find a way around him because he is um, turning theaters against her and not letting her perform in the city of New York, her act. And so you have Talia's personal journey to figure out is she magical and if so what that means for her and her professional career as a magician and she doesn't want to have any crossover and so she's keeping parts of herself separate because she needs to be able to um, be a professional stage magician do the things without magic but she also has this inside part of her that is changing um, the glass magician comes out april 7th of 2020 and it was um, a relatively quick read and you really get into this period piece set in New York City and there was some um, great interesting folks that Talia meets along the way. Bye.